What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hey, it's Joey. Yep, it's Joey. And it's David. And this is another Downtown Brewer review. Oh, yeah. Today, I had, sorry, I had to like move this because it was like really weirdly off center. Today, we got something cool, different. Never had this brewery before. I've seen you, it talked about, yeah. um, but I haven't really like known much about it because I'm aware of Snort Brewery. I've seen quite a bit of that around. Imprint. They're pretty popular with their. We've uh, had one with um with a uh, collab from them, right? Imprint. I Imprint. Think so. Okay, maybe not. It will. They do the schmoogey, if I'm correct. Okay. Uh, I'm. I don't think I've had a schmoogey. I might have. I don't know. But anyway, this is new. We got it in a trade when we were doing the RIR release. Thank you, Berlin Beer Guy. This wasn't from him actually. It wasn't. No, this is from... Uh, oh, sorry, man. But Berlin Beer Guy, I'm going to give you a shout-out at some point soon, too. This is shout-out to the random guy in line who just happened to want one of the older Out of Order series um, from the Home Alone release. He just wanted to do a one-for-one -one trade. You know, we had uh, the Elder Out of Orders, and I haven't had this, so figured, why not? So I'm going to crack this can. There's a very short description that he's going to give on it. Okay, it's a marshmallow candy set... Candy Kettle Sour in collaboration with Import, Import Beer, Imprint Beer Company. I can't talk today, but it's I hard. didn't know Imprint Beer was from Hatfield, PA. That means a lot because might be a good ship to his house. But um, yeah, so it looks like a beer. It does look like a beer. I like when a sour actually looks like a beer. You know, it's not. Ooh, okay. It's not too far off. That smells delightful. I have high hopes. All right, down the hatch. That's that's actually pretty pleasant. That's very candy like. Like they're not really lying. No, it gets the Hold on. Remember those like bottle cap candies? Yeah, I do. I know exactly what you're talking about. It tastes kind of just like that. Like, m maybe like the root beer one, more specifically. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, it's hard to say that this tastes like root beer. I don't want to give that impression, but I do get that bottle cap taste. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's okay. actually very point on, sir. This guy, I, I get random. He's a master of um, tasting when it comes to flavors and stuff. So I like it. It's cool because, like, if you're someone that likes a beer because it tastes like a beer, this is definitely one of those. Because in in other beers that we have, they're like, like the out of orders that we just did. They're great. They're ama They're amazing. But they got to a point where they didn't even really taste like a beer. This still does taste like a beer. So, um, the fact that they have all this going for it, marshmallow candy kettle sour. It's sour. Tastes like a beer. But it's got that sweetness for like candy. And it's dangerous because it's so smooth and so tasty and it's at 6.3%. 6.3% is pretty good for a sour. Oh, uh, the cool thing is when we traded, when you traded for this, this is like a, a blind trade. I mean, we knew, we know that this brewery is good, I'm sure. Um, so but I know, I, know I, I trust Imprint. Um, the Smoogies, I don't know that they're as highly sought after as out of orders. You might say, hey, you got like, you know, you got hustle, dude. That's an out of order, and that's nothing. I mean, I don't know how hard this is to get. I mean, it's it might be easy. I don't know, but I uh, I do know that I haven't had it before, and it's very tasty. I I feel like I'm happy with it. I feel like the trade was worth it for what it was. What did you trade? South Bend Shev Shoveler? No, I was. I think it, was, it might have been easy on the soda. Okay, it was worth it. Yeah, because you know us. Like even though the Easy on the soda might have been a more popular flavor. We weren't like really that crazy about it. Like, Dude, had we known that people would have wanted that one more often, I would have been like. I'm glad right. I got an extra four pack of it. Yeah, I remember I got that in Turtle Doves. So. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, all right, on to the ratings then. Um. We'll do it at the same time. Yeah, sure. Let's do it on three. Okay. One, one two, two, three, four, two, five. I feel. All right. All right. Okay. Four, yeah. five. Okay, it's five, not it's five. not perfect, but I will say that it deserves a noble above the four. Yeah, so here's here's the thing. 
He gave Easy on the Soda a four, if I remember correctly. Maybe a four two five. Yeah, four two five. This is right on par, if not better than that, in my opinion. That says a lot. So I'm I'm happy with that. In my opinion, this is our opinion actually, and our, our opinion, we we really like this beer, and um, I don't I haven't had too much from Bolero Snort. I haven't had much from Imprint. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have had a smoothie that my cousin gave me. But uh, I do think that um, I want to try more from both of these places because of this beer. Yeah, and the fact that, like, I don't know if you keep sipping at it, but I know that it does taste better, in my opinion. I feel like it's it's really good with each sip. Yeah. Um, And it does have a 4.175 average uh, for its rating. So, I mean, it says something. So if you can get your hands on one of these, try it. Do it. Why not? Um, I, would, I would lose. give shout outs to Raj in New Jersey at Queen Liquors. He had some of this um, that he was posting about. I haven't been in to see if he still has any or if they sold out already, but maybe give him a, give him a you know, go check, go check it out, you know, see if he has any, because I think this is definitely worth trying. So other than that, that's all I got. And that's all I got too. Uh, keep liking, keep watching, keep sharing, keep following. Exactly. Follow us. This guy, everything he just said, listen to him. Don't don't not listen to this guy. He always gives the best advice. So but whether it's, you know, about beer or if it's about just life in general. This is like this is Dr. Dave for you. So Dr. Dave. The funny thing is not gonna go under there. I bet. Anyway, um and uh yeah, this this that's really cool. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. We got, we got some more stuff coming, some stuff that we haven't done before. One that com is tapping back from 450, so we got another 450 that we, yeah, that we we're able that was, to do. That's shout out to the Berlin beer guy. Berlin beer guy, yep. But this has been another Down to Brew review, and yeah, until <laughs> next time, stay classy. classy.